Hi, welcome back to the show. I'm here with Hope Fox. Impress for Less. Yes. That's the cookbook. You got it. Impressforless.com is the simplest website I've ever found. That's right. Well, celebrity kitchen and stuff. It's, there, you know, it's good to have a good website, not it is. like the backslash forward, you know. Yeah. So they know right where to go. Impressforless.com, that's where people can find a lot of information. Okay. We're going to do a chicken dish. Yes, we are. We're, we've got our, our Caesar salads plated. Yes. I'm going to try that in a minute. Yes. We've got our pan warming up. Wonderful. You've wrapped a couple uh, cutlets in saran wrap. You're yes. going to show people a nice pounding technique yes. that doesn't get your kitchen yes. messy. And we're going to go. Yes. This recipe is called chicken with Calvados cream. Mm -hmm. Except I'm going to do a little bit of twist on that. I tell you where to get the Calvados in case you want it, which is it's just an Applejack brandy from France, which is pretty pricey, it's right. like 35 and up. So this thing I just use is a little bit of just apple brandy that cost me ten dollars <laughs> at the at the you know the liquor local store. liquor store. That's all I so did. You can That's get all it I anywhere. did. For every day, this is perfect. If you want to do it up uptown, I call it. You can get that high-end Calvados. Okay. But this is Calvados cream with chicken. That's all it is. He uses Guinea hens. I tell you where to get those in case you want it by email and phone number. Chicken breasts for every day, and pretty enough for company. Right. So all I did is just take some chicken breasts and I just pounded these down a little bit because we don't want to have to spend a lot of money on those. Sometimes it costs a lot of money to get those thin chicken breasts. Right. All you have to do is pound these out. I just like to wrap it in saran wrap. You can also wrap it in a you know, paper towel if you want or some wax paper. And just take your little pounder. And take out all your aggression. Right. Your man, your husband, or what have you. And there you go, okay? So that's basically what I did a little bit earlier. I get my pan up to like about medium, yep, medium high heat and just take some butter and just put it right in there just to heat it up. So I'm just gonna heat up this butter a little bit till it melts a little bit. And some, some chefs, they actually like to mix a little bit of butter with some olive oil. Sure. But this time I'm using the real thing. This is gonna be a nice, <laughs> nice dish. But I'll tell you something, when I'm, I do watch my weight and I like to eat healthy, and sometimes I even buy that vegan butter. I don't right. know if you ever look at that. I've never tried it, no. It's wonderful. So I buy that a lot. You can get that at like, you know, any of your stores, like the Smart Balance or the vegan butter at Whole Foods or this type, you know, anything like that. Mm -hmm. So it really, really tastes great. So I'm gonna just, Melt that butter a little bit, but today okay. we're going uptown here. And then I'm just going to put my chicken breasts in that I pounded out. Are we going to season Well, first those? I'm going to do, yeah, yeah. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to take them out, and I'm just going, they're nice and thin, and I'm going to just going to season these up with a little bit of salt and pepper. Look, I've got a right-hand man there. Yeah, a little God, bit. God, I'll tell you, you're hired. <laughs> well, thanks. I'm going to take you out well, and help when us this out. this is done. That's right. So, and, um... And when you're using chicken, you know, it's always nice to wash your hands, you know, right after that. But I'm just going to season this with a little bit of salt and pepper. That's all. Just a little bit of salt and pepper on here. And I like to use, even though this recipe, he likes to use just the white pepper, mm -hmm. which I'll show you right here, just the brown white pepper. In like seafood and what have you, a lot of chefs use with chicken and seafood the white pepper. It's milder and they don't have the black flex. But I must tell you that I love just the the black pepper. I like the contrast of color, so I always use the black pepper. Okay. So that's what I'm going so to do. So I can throw these in? Yep, throw those in. And we're going to, I'm just going to put the heat up a little bit higher. And we're going to season those. And it's usually about, um, about three to four minutes each side. Mm -hmm. Now do you go by and, and redo the top? Well, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get these, I don't like to keep turning, turning, turning. So what I'm going to do is I'm really going to get these brown. I'm going to, usually, I would let them really heat up for about three to four minutes right. on each side. Right. And then I'm going to flip them over. The one thing about butter, which I really like, is that it really browns it really nicely. It does. And a lot of chefs, they mix the olive oil with the butter because it makes the butter not burn. Okay. But like I mentioned to you before, on an everyday basis, because I use this recipe so much in my home, right. that I like to use the vegan or the smart balance and it's, the results are just as nice. Right. So we're just going to move these aside and basically what we're going to do, we're going to let those cook for three to four minutes okay. and then we're going to even, I can even put this one in if you'd like me to. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, once these brown, we're going to turn those over and then what we're going to do, we're going to put them in the plate and then we're just going to add our ingredients, which is just the thyme, one cup of cream, scallions, shallots, and mushrooms, and that's basically it, and a little bit of garlic. And a lot of times I like to just use this, we were talking earlier, 
I have fresh garlic always, but if I'm in a pinch for time, this is the way to go. Very much. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. is the way to go, so I always use that. And that's basically the whole dish. All right, cool. Let's take another quick break while these are browning. So Perfect. We don't bore the people with that. They all know how to do it. Right. We'll come back and put it together. That's great. And uh, taste it. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Okay. 